Good morning. Welcome to the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. I'm your host, Harvey Freed. Alongside of me, Alex Nafusi. Hey, buddy. Good morning, man. Hey, good morning you, Alex. What's happening out there, man? Gorgeous. gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, August 15th. Gorgeous. Hey, look at that guy over there. Dan Dubinsky, Skyward Realty. Welcome, Dan. Good morning, guys. So you doing? Dan, you guys, I mean, I know Alex lives right on the edge of Woodward. Your office is right there in Royal Oak. <laughs> You guys don't really hang out there too much. You had it all week long. You've had enough cars all week long? Well, I'll tell you what. It starts really... It starts with, in April. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And lawn chairs on Woodward are a common sight these days. Yeah. I like it. I don't know. You know, congratulations. Salute you don't out live there. right there. You don't have to change your, your, your life for, for two months. I don't know. I drove down. Uh, I was in Birmingham. Well, it wasn't too bad to get there yesterday morning. I don't know. I took the back roads, Pierce, and everything. I don't want to give them my secret routes to getting around everything. But, hey, a little salute out there to all our cruisers out there hitting the Woodward Dream Cruise. This is a version of the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. We have people in the office all day long. I know Mike's there. He's been calling me, telling telling me the same thing. He lives in Royal Oak, and he said, you know what? Instead of enjoying this dream cruise, I'm going to get to the office and take some calls this morning. So if you're interested in getting an approval letter or you need to consolidate your debt, be sure to call Capital Mortgage at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. You'll save a ton of money. Get uh, Get that approval letter in your hand. That's a good thing to get started with. And, of course, always professional answers to your questions. What's going on with you, Dan? Well, I'll tell you, we, I, I took the whole week off, believe it or not. Oh, shocking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I mean, well, hey, yeah, I deserve really a, some time off work? I deserve well, a vacation. Crazy. I deserve a vacation as well. well. I mean, but you put in 10 hours a week. I mean, I want you to get burnt out on me, man. <laughs> well, what I, what I realized when I was on vacation here is that business is booming. You know, when you're in work in the office and people are calling and doing things, but I'm getting all kind of calls, yeah, answering questions. There's still a lot of buyers out there. And, uh, you know, things are still going good. We have a lot of uh, uh, properties that are uh, selling fairly quickly. People are making their homes look nice. And uh, the market's market's great. We can't can't complain. Good. We'll talk about inventory today. Definitely. We'll talk about uh, appraisals and and the pricing of a home. We'll talk a little bit technique about if you're selling your homes, things you can do to get it sold properly, maybe to avoid some problems. And of course, always on the buyer's end, getting that approval letter in hand getting a good understanding of the the uh, competition out there that's all bidding for that same gorgeous house, that the one left gorgeous house that fits everyone's needs is just sitting there, but multiple bids are coming in. We'll show you some strategies and talk about how you may be able to get your hands on and, that. And working well with other realtors, you know, we're in this job together to make a deal happen. And what we're supposed to do is it should be a fun process, especially a first time home buyer, right? Right. First time home buyers excited. They want to come out there. Sometimes you have to, uh, you know, uh, filter some of the comments from the buyer to the seller. You know, when I first uh, heard, you know, I've been in this business almost 20 years, right? And uh, the internet came out and so people start saying, oh, there's going to be no reason for a uh, broker anymore because totally they can true. find their properties. No. 100% no, not you, you need to have someone in between. It's like any negotiations, filtering it. I don't care if they can find them. They, a lot of times they call and say, hey, uh, we uh, want to buy a home, and here's the homes we want to see, without us even sending them. We out. took so, a call last week from uh, a, young, a young couple that uh, was looking to buy their first house, and uh, she said, you know, we were, we're overbidding on these houses, and we're still not getting exact, accepted. And I said, well, you know, who, you know, who's your realtor? And she gave me, gave me this person's name. And I said, how are they submitting these offers? She goes, well, we're, we're doing DocuSign, which DocuSign is fine. It's just, it's just an app where you can sign on your phone and all that. Yeah, I and like that. Which is, which is fine. That's yeah. great. And they're just emailing the offers over. And I think as a selling agent right now, part of your job is almost selling the listing agent on why your clients or, or, or the ones that they should, the offer they I'm, should take. I'm always surprised when I just see an offer appear out of nowhere. It's so stupid. No. It's unbelievable. Well, you, you call First of all, you call up. Remember the number one thing in negotiations, in my mind, now you correct me if I'm wrong, motivation of the seller, right? If right. you're representing a buyer. Why are they selling? Do they need to sell? Do they want to sell? Are they moving somewhere else? Have they bought a house? So you want to, if there's interest in there, uh, I, I, I tell my people, hey, whatever home you have, you like, if they're kind of even, I'll call and we'll find out what one we can work with best, who's the best, best realtor is, and we'll move in that direction. Um, but once you find out the motivation, you have to realize that uh, these agents are there, majority of them are there to help you. And the successful agents are very friendly. They're going to tell you, they're not going to disclose any information they shouldn't, but they're going to tell you what's going on and they're going to work well with you. Right. You're point, not adversaries. The point being, though, is you can't just submit an offer via email. You need to contact the, the other the other agent, agent, you know, and, and have a conversation. Say, hey, listen, man, these are these are young kids. They love the area, you know. They've it, got a strong 
pre-approval. And yeah, and you have to determine as an agent, who are you selling? And it's and I hate to use the word sell because sometimes we'll accept, get an offer accepted and my buyers then at that point will be like, hey, you know what? Maybe we could have got did even better. They get a little cold feet. Now you have to turn around and tell your, your buyer, listen, here's the comps again. Here's what we went through. Remember, you liked it two days ago, but yeah. now that they you accepted you, it. You were, you were happy at 200, <laughs> but now, now that you got it right away, you should, you're thinking you should have asked 210. Just like when you yeah. put a home on the market and it sells in three days and you get asking price, then they always think, wow, we probably underpriced it. The uh, knowledge that goes along, the, the knowledge gives you the confidence and it all sort of intertwines all together. 248-539-9797. Definitely want to hear from you this morning if you're out there making offers on house, if you're going to be selling your house, if you want to save money and consolidate debt. How about this one? A lot of our families here in Southeast Michigan have some built-in equity. Why not pull some equity out? Alex, you hate this. Pull some equity out. Consolidate your debt. Maybe even free up some money for that I home improvement hold project. On, time out. I'm not going to tell them to go ahead and buy the car. That's but what that's I was going to say. I don't, I don't hate <laughs> taking we'll equity out of your rod. house. Yeah, I, I don't hate money. I, Sending I your kid to college, right? Well, no. I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's, <laughs> but then, if, you can, if, if you can borrow money at, you know, at, at 4% and student loans are at 65 yeah, yeah. I mean, absolutely. I think you know that's and you a, get to write good, it off. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's good to just take money out. The, I don't think people take money out to buy a boat. Well, that's that's it. Brings up an interesting point. Is you know you said four percent. People ask me all the time. Hey, uh, this athlete just got a signing bonus, but yet he got a mortgage. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? Because he can make more money than the four percent. Money is cheap these days, right? Smart money, do yeah. the right thing. A lot of people don't understand that. There's a lot of knowledge that goes behind our industry. You know, sometimes we simplify things, but there's still a lot of knowledge. And again, we talk about that knowledge as a first time home buyer or if you're you're doing it for your second or third time because the industry changed. That knowledge gives you the confidence. And without it, I, I'm always shocked when I when I see families that don't have any of the knowledge behind them. I'm like, how did you even present an offer? And, and you mentioned something, Dan, that was really interesting. Not always is the highest price that's presented the best deal, or will that even work out and close? We found out all over the last few years here in Michigan, overbidding out of home. If the families don't can't make up the difference of the appraised value, you've got no deal. So a lot of times, it's not always the highest offer that makes the transaction work. It's not. And the appraised values, obviously, that comes into uh, situations all the time now. So we always tell our buyers that, hey... We hate to have a second party or a third party come in, uh, an appraiser, and tell you it's not worth what it is. But I'm going to plant that seed and say, let's let's figure out right now what we're going to do so I can tell that agent, hey, listen, here's what will happen if it doesn't appraise. We will pay up to five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 more, and we'll put that in the contract. Now, you're 100% you're correct. If there's another offer less than that, but they don't do that, hey, they're going to probably be sitting on the sidelines. Well, that's just it. Again, you got to know who you're, uh, who's actually the buyer is. And, and maybe the offer is a little bit less money, but they have more money to work with and make the deal happen. Just tons of information to, to share with people out there. 248-539-9797. Let's go to some calls here this morning. We'll start things off. We've got Gene out there from Taylor. Good morning, Gene. Welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you gentlemen doing this morning? Good. What's up, man? Oh, uh, not much. Um, my question is, my wife and I got into a situation. We had to, you know, have to go to the bankruptcy route. Uh, we haven't gone to court yet, but we want to buy our first house. You know, I, I've got savings going and stuff, but what are our options and what can we do? None. You can rent. Land contract. Do you have, do you have money? Uh, yes, I do. Why are you going through bankruptcy then? Well, because I don't have a whole lot of money, and we're one income family. Right. Well, you're, and, you're, if you're in bankruptcy, you, know, our, you got you're gonna have to rent, partner. And there's you're not you're not getting a mortgage. I'm trying to think. You sounds like you're on the edge of considering to go to maybe file a bankruptcy, but then you're also saying to yourselves, "Wait a minute, we need to put a roof over our head." Where, where are you at with that, Gene? Well, we we do have money saved. We're living with her mother right now, and we're just trying to get through. We've already paid the lawyers the money for the bankruptcy. We're waiting on a court date. Hmm. Uh, you don't have any um, options I mean, to buy a house. You can, you can how buy, long do, does it take afterwards to, to be able to get an, uh, a mortgage? Is it seven or 13? Seven. Two years. Two years after that discharge date, you're going to be able to apply for an FHA mortgage. Again, the industry guidelines do change, and they've changed quite a lot in the last seven years. But after this bankruptcy, I think you should get back on your feet, save money. Um, if you're living with family and you could save money by doing that, fantastic. If you need to go rent an inexpensive you know, unit for your family, do that. But definitely consider rebuilding your credit once you file this bankruptcy. You're going to have to start or hang on to a credit card if you can. I don't think you're allowed to in a bankruptcy. But you're going to have to immediately start rebuilding credit with secured credit cards and things of that nature. I'll definitely give you a follow-up call, Junior. You're too far into that bankruptcy, I think. And I wish you uh, maybe could reconsider it. Again, we would have to take a look at your overall financial shape and see what we can do for you. But thanks for the call. 
Okay, thank you. Thanks, All right. Man. Interesting calls, as always. 248-539-9797. Alex, you got something on your mind? No, I'm, I'm fine. I just... How about those mortgage rates, Alex? I mean, volatility, I mean, that's a big word, but uh, it's exactly what we had this week. Uh, the week started off as if rates were going to head down, and uh, they did start trickling down a little bit. Again, it's usually the price that breaks down a little bit, but all those gains uh, in the right direction were all erased by week's end. Now we're at 40-year lows again, just like we started last Saturday. So congratulations if you're out there still looking. Rates couldn't be any better, and if you want to consolidate your debt, keep it here on 97.1. We'll be back right after the break. Did you know there's more than one Las Vegas? There's the Strip with families on vacation and questionable odds. Then there's Downtown Vegas, the original gambling and entertainment mecca. That's where you'll find the D Las Vegas. Book your stay at the D.com. The D Las Vegas, your home for Detroit sports in Vegas. Want your energy provider to be more clean and green? Well, DTE Energy is working hard to do that with renewables. And here to tell us how is Stephanie from DTE. Hey there, Stephanie. Hi, how are you? I'm fantastic. Tell me all about this. DTE is a leader in renewable energy, and we see it as a very important part of energy generation and helping to reduce greenhouse gases. How long have you been doing that? Oh, we've been doing this for years. Just since 2008, we've spent over $2 billion on renewables, making us Michigan's largest investor in them. That's a lot of money. Uh, what are some of the things you spent it on? Well, we've installed around 250 wind turbines, built over 20 solar arrays and other facilities so that by the end of 2015, 10% of the electricity we provide will come from renewable energy. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. In fact, that's enough energy to power 400,000 average-sized homes. That is a lot of homes. It sure is. If you want to know more about DTE and renewables, go to dteenergy.com slash renew. DTE Energy. Know your own power. Has a loved one in your family suffered a stroke or a traumatic brain injury? Have you been told there's no hope? Over the years, Dr. Tammy Powell has devoted her life to those who have been told there is no hope. Her own daughter is living testimony that hyperbaric oxygen treatment can restore normal brain function, even when other doctors say it will never happen. You may not be familiar with hyperbaric oxygen, but it means you don't ever have to give up hope. Whether it's sports injuries, concussions, autism, cerebral palsy, strokes, ADHD, diabetes-related damage, or a whole range of other conditions. The professionals at Oxford Hyperbaric are successfully restoring individuals back to a healthy lifestyle. They offer state-of-the-art equipment and have treated thousands of patients from all over the world. Call Oxford Recovery Center today at 248-486-3636 and don't let anyone tell you your recovery is not possible. Recovery is possible. Call 248-486-3636 or visit OxfordRecoveryCenter.com and let the healing begin. The lowest tire price, period, isn't the only reason people come back to Bell Tire. Maybe it's because we have the best customer service. Maybe it's because we provide an installation package the competition can't match at any price. Or maybe it's just because people know they can count on us for all of their tire needs at the lowest tire price, period. At Bell Tire, find all the top brand names in stock and ready for immediate installation. Get the lowest tire price, period, on great names like Michelin, BF Goodrich, Goodyear, Toyo, Mastercraft, and more. We can also perform alignments to help your tires last longer. And with our installation package, lifetime alignment checks are free, along with free lifetime flat repairs, free lifetime tire rotations, and more. I guess there are a lot of reasons our customers keep coming back. It's not your usual tire shopping experience. It's Bell Tire. The lowest tire price, period. Bell Tires open late Monday and Thursday, 8 to 8, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 to 6, Saturday, 8 to 5. For the Bell Tire near you, call 888-GO-BELL or go to belltire.com. Every morning on CBS This Morning, we do something unusual. We're just learning. There are new developments. There is another bombshell. We just get to the news. We're going to look at headlines from around the globe. News that takes you there. You can see the scale of the destruction. News that answers your questions and opens your eyes. How do you measure the concern about this threat? So tomorrow morning, join us and just get to the news. Only on CBS This Morning. Right after CBS Morning News on CBS 62, Detroit. Hi. 
Hi, Harry Glantz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, so what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. Look, if you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. Capital Mortgage Funding is powered by Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, NMLS ID number 2289, equal housing lender. Text the ticket anytime, 24-7 at 97136. The Gallianas Van Dyke Dodge Ticket Tax. Don't overpay. Get into Gallianas Van Dyke Dodge today. Want to watch the current season of NCIS or past seasons of The Good Wife? With CBS All Access, you can watch these and other CBS shows live or on demand on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Go to cbs.com slash access now for your free trial. Detroit's home field advantage. Alrighty, welcome back to the show. It is the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate and Business Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Give us a call at Capital, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Also, you can call us live in the studio, 248-539-9797. Tons of information to share for you. We'll go to some of the calls right now. Let me try Noah out there in Romulus. Good morning and welcome to our show. Hi, uh, how are you guys doing this morning? Good, good morning, sir. Uh, hey, I just had a, a, a good, a solid question about purchasing my first home. Um, I'm 26 years old and I have a uh, pretty decent credit. I have some student loans against me right now, but, uh, they'll be paid off as soon as, uh, as soon as I, uh, graduate. And, um, I was wondering if you guys could give me some information on, uh, the, pro the process for buying a new home. Like how long would it take? You know, if I have a purchasing agreement, how long does that take? Well, right like about if I find a 30 home? days right now, start to finish once you find a purchase or once you sign a purchase agreement. Um, usually, okay. you know, I, I work backwards with, with my first time home buyers. I mean, you tell me what you want to pay for the house, you know, what you're comfortable paying on a monthly basis. And then we kind of back mm -hmm. you into the house from there. Um, did you have a price range I in guess. mind that you wanted to pay for the house? Or yeah, I, 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 the house is actually owned by somebody right now and they, and they have a, they have a payout number and they just want to sell it to me for the payout number. I think it's a uh, 54,000 is the payout, uh, against the mortgage and, uh, it's a it's a pretty because I I've I've seen a house inside and out and I you know I've inspected it but you know I, I really want to purchase a house and if he's just offering whatever he wants to get from underneath it I think that's a good idea. What do you guys think? Well, here, here's what I tell my my clients: you don't want to go out and just pick that one home, right? You want to look at other homes mm -hmm. that are similar so you can compare them. Mm -hmm. We don't know if fifty four thousand dollars is a good deal or a bad deal, so we have to do comparables first. So we'd look first. What we would do is look at the solds. Tell you what I, what we think uh, this one would look at after after previewing the home. We'd also look at actives, and I'd probably actually put you in the car and show you some of those others. Um, you just want to pinpoint okay. one and say, okay, let's look at this one. If you like it, we can move the process okay. forward. What you do is you put a purchase agreement together. You typically have seven days to get your inspector paid by you out there to make sure the property is in good condition. If uh, after that you have three mm -hmm. choices, you can either move forward with the house because you're happy with the uh, results, you can uh, pass on the house because mm -hmm. you're not happy, or you can negotiate hey, with them. And I'm thinking too, that's good information, Deanna. Hey Noah, what about uh, like for example, what city is the house in? It's in Romulus. Oh, great. Well. And, and then you've already checked out some similar homes similar to this and what they're selling for, and this is definitely a great deal for you. Is that where you're at? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a really good price. Right good, now. good. Well, I'll tell you, there's a lot to know between this uh, between you know the beginning stages. You want to make sure your seller has money to pay the transfer tax and the title insurance. Um, hopefully, we can discuss that mm -hmm. a little bit. Also, if there's equity built in the house and you're not working with a lot of money, mm -hmm. maybe the seller would be willing to pay some of your closing costs and prepaids, allowing you some additional money. Again, you're, you're a younger guy, you've got some student loans, mm -hmm. maybe keeping some more money in your pocket would help you uh, save money and make this a more successful purchase. I know it's a yeah. great call. Yeah. We'd love to work with you. So uh, we'll definitely follow up right after the show and see if we can help you get that approval letter in hand, okay? All right, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. You got it. Thanks, man. All right, thanks, everybody. I, I'm glad to hear from some first-time buyers this morning, and I love it. Again, we, they want to know the first steps. They're really, they're our sponges. They, they want to know. They want to don't want to make a mistake like some of our Generation Xers like myself. Don't want to overpay for homes or make any financial mistakes. Yeah, you know what that call reminded me of? You have, for example, a guy who's looking at homes with basements and all that, and then yeah. they don't find it. Then they change their criteria, and they say, hey, I found one without a basement. I love it. Look how much it is compared to these other ones. Like, well, hold on a little bit. There's a reason for that. Yeah, why don't we look at the other ones without basements, too, and then you 
can make an educated decision. But people do that all the time. And nine out of ten times, you know what they end up doing? They end up coming back to where they started. It's just they get impatient and they go off looking at other stuff. And then they come back to the areas and exactly what they're looking for. 248-539-9797. Tons to share with you out there if you're looking for purchasing a home. We've got lots of facts and figures and, and a process that we can teach you to really get you comfortable with the whole process and make it really a great thing. Again, so many families in the past maybe didn't do the right thing. Now we're seeing stronger communities, stronger buyers, and less uh, problems with their mortgages. Let's continue some calls here. we got Dan out in White Lake. Hey, good morning, Dan. Welcome to our show. Go ahead. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's an honor to talk to you guys. Thanks, man. Um, good morning. I finally got myself uh, stuff together. I, I'm debt free. Uh, I paid off my second mortgage, so it's now it's time to refinance. And I'm just looking for the best, the best options. Unfortunately, my house is underwater, so you know I don't got a lot of play with. I can come some come with uh, some money to the table, but uh, you know always less is great, uh, better. So it's all about the appraisal. Dan, what type uh, of loan do you have right now, sir? Uh, it's an interest free loan. Uh, set up through uh, a bank. Is, is, it ba- is it back through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac? Uh, no, it is not, sir. I've been told that it's not. I don't understand why, but it uh, it is not. And what's the what's the balance on that mortgage right now? One sixty eight. And what do you think it's going to appraise at roughly? Um, I'm thinking about one sixty. Well, you're really not that that far. What's your current interest rate? Uh, five point. I and it's interest only, the loan? Yes, sir. Well, that's an option. You know, I can I right. get a higher one, but yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it, you do have some options. I mean, we got first of all, we got to get you off that program because eventually it's not going to be interest only. Usually it's only interest no. only for the first 10 years. Then it's right. going to revert to a 20-year amortization, which means your payment's yeah. going to shoot way up. Um, yeah, and that's coming up really soon. Yeah. How much money do we have to play with to buy, to buy the, uh, the, the balance down? Uh... What do you mean? Do you have like fifteen grand? You can throw at the principal. Yes, we, I can make that work for you. You know, he's yeah. got to start over. Dan, I think we're going to have a plan for you to start over, and we're going to have to lay out some numbers for you to show you. Look, even if you don't sure. get what you need out of your house, it sounds like you've got some money that you can use to bring to the closing table. And again, maybe downsizing whatever your plans are moving forward are just going to work way better financially. And it sounds like it would. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Dan, we'll collect for the show. I'm going to take care for you, man. We can make that work for you, though, for sure. Thank you very much. You got it. Thank Thanks, you, Dan. Sir. And, yeah. and it's a great call, too, because not only when we follow up with Dan, we'll also get uh, Dubinsky here to run some comps in the neighborhood. We've yeah. got some people that will work those specific areas. Well, look again. the fact he's not bailing on it, right? He's, he likes his house. He wants to stay there. just wants some options of staying in it. All right. Or if he decides to sell and maybe there's a better option to buy something yeah. different that would well, work you know, a little it's, bit better. It's funny. You know, I love what you say about he's, you know, he's not bailing on it. He's grinding through it. There's so many calls that, you know, that I take now at the office, people that, that did bail right. you know, two years ago. And they want to buy for four hundred grand now. <laughs> and, and the crazy thing is, some of their houses are worth more. They're worth than, more now. They, yeah, they, they, they all they have to do is ride. Remember how it. mad I used to get like years ago? People like, well, I'm, you don't I'm, get I'm mad anymore. You <laughs> no, not at all. No, well, dude, look, look what a better vibe changed. it is. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it's. I mean, it's just that people are just you know they they they're making better decisions, and I mean, you know, I hope that you know they're sticking to their guns and, and making the payments because, like, like Dan, you just said. A lot of those houses that people bailed on three years ago. It's like the, it's like the stock market. You know, you don't jump off every time you're in a valley, right? Oh, I'm selling. You know what you do when you, when the market goes down? You buy, you, you double buy. down, buy more. You're supposed to buy more. Yeah, dude, there's no doubt, gentlemen. 2008 was the greatest thing that could have happened to me because yeah, the market you a completely. T- well, no, well that, but I mean the the market completely tanked. Yep. And I bought in then. I mean, it's it's, it's great. Well, good news out there. Uh, delinquencies are down, man. We haven't seen these low levels of uh, delinquencies down in mortgage loans uh, since 2007. Uh, 73% of the loans that were seriously de- delinquent now 70 were originated prior to 2008. So, look, people are learning how to do this the right way. And, again, if you bought since 2008, you probably got a ton of equity in your house. If not, maybe you didn't buy right again. Again, call the show and find out what you can do to save money. Or if you're a first-time buyer, hopefully we can help you. Uh, sort of pave the road to get you to become a successful homeowner. 248-539-9797. Let's go out to Matt in New Baltimore. Hey, Matt, what's happening? How's it going, guys? Good. What's up, man? I'm currently uh, buying my first home, and I'm uh, like two weeks from closing. And then I was uh, with my buddy the other day, and he told me I could pull up to $10,000 out of a 401k penalty-free for a first-time home buying, but I don't know how to do that or that's, if that's true. That's a Roth IRA you can pull it out of. You can, your 401k is going to be based on on the plan that it's set up with. Most of them you can pull whatever you want from your 401k. Yeah, most 401ks you can take a loan allow. Against it. Yeah. yeah. So you're not cashing penalty it out. You're taking, though, but- 
No, you're not. You're not cashing out. You're taking a, a loan. You can't okay. cash out your four hundred one. Yeah, I mean, you can. I guess you can cash out. You're going to pay the ten, ten percent uh, penalty plus you know plus the taxes on there. Yeah, that's what I wanted to avoid. <laughs> yeah, well, so I mean, you can take a loan against it, but you can't. Okay. You can't pay, cash it out without paying taxes on it. Hey, Matt, you're two mu- you're two weeks away from closing. You've got all your funds already set up to purchase the house, though. You've already got your savings. You've already got that all figured out, correct? Yes. Okay, but then afterwards, as you're in this process now, someone's saying to you, wait a minute here, you're, you're not leaving yourself any money, and their 401k might be an option for you. Yeah. Exactly. It might be an option in a rainy day situation also. So, hey, Matt, we're going to follow up with you. Hopefully you're doing the right thing there with your loan, and if you're not, perhaps we can give you some great advice. When we come back, okay, thanks, all of your calls, 248-539-9797. The Metro Detroit Buick GMC dealers are excited to celebrate the biggest event of the year, the 2015 Woodward Dream Cruise. This weekend, all of Metro Detroit will show off their custom rides while they cruise Woodward from Ferndale to Pontiac. The Buick GMC dealers invite you to join them at Athens Coney Island, just south of 14 Mile Road off Woodward for one of the best parties around this weekend. Don't miss out on your chance to win your choice of a brand new Yukon Denali or Buick Enclave when you stop by. No purchase necessary. Now let's get cruising. Going cruising? Don't forget to take Tubby's. Bring your favorite sub along for the ride. Like Detroit's original steak and cheese with premium steak and sautéed onions piled high on fresh bread and topped with lettuce, tomatoes, melted cheese, and Tubby's famous dressing. Or cater to your whole crew with a platter of Tubby's delicious deli subs and chicken wings. Rule your road trip. Visit Tubby's.com to place your order today. Before you have surgery for pain in your knees, hips, shoulders, or other joints, you must call the doctors at Stem Cell Therapeutics. They will relieve your joint pain by 80 to 90% with only one 45-minute in-office procedure. Call 248-712-6967 to learn more and get $500 off your procedure. It's safe, quick, and restores your lifestyle without surgery using your own stem cells. Get joint pain relief today and $500 off your procedure. Stem Cell Therapeutics, 248-712-6967. Six, seven. Westland City Hall, this is Mayor Bill Wilde. Hey, Mayor, this is Jake and Elwood from the Soul Man Blues Brothers Tribute Band. We're all excited to have you headlining Westland's Blues Brews and Barbecue tonight at 8. Yeah, about that. Who's on before us? The stage is full of great bands playing free shows every two hours starting at noon. Why? Just a little misunderstanding with the local law enforcement. We should be there on time, though. Wrap it up. Yes, officer. Uh, so, Mayor, if we're... A- What's on your summer to-do list? Hanging out with friends and family? Oh, this crowd is into it here at Comerica Park. And having a whole bunch of fun? The Paris swings and rides run deep to center field. Watch this one fly! Oh! This summer, do it all at a Tigers game. <laughs> having some fun now! The Tigers host the Rangers on Sunday, August 23rd at 108. It's Sunday Kids Day. All kids 14 and under get a set of strikeout bullying dog tags, courtesy of the Michigan State Police. For tickets, go to Tigers.com. Jumpstart your career with a business degree from Cleary University. An associate's degree and work experience will only take you so far. And completing your bachelor's degree while you're working full-time won't take as long as you think. At Cleary University, you can earn your bachelor's degree in business leadership in 16 months, giving you the skills and credentials to move your career forward faster. Cleary University is 100% focused on helping you finish your degree. You'll have a clear degree path, maximize transfer credits, and earn up to one year of free college credits for work and life experiences. Cleary courses are real and relevant. To us, online doesn't mean on your own. You'll be mentored by industry leaders and collaborate with core groups of peers from day one to graduation. Your time starts now. Enroll and finish your degree ahead of students who wait another year. The Cleary University tuition guarantee means you'll lock in the same tuition rate as long as you stay enrolled. Classes start September 8th, so apply today at cleary.edu. Cleary University. Business strong. Which hat are you wearing right now? If you're a small business owner, you're wearing quite a few. The CBS Small Business Pulse, built in partnership with Office Depot Office Max, has the insights and inspiration to help your small business grow. Visit cbspulse.com. Sports news all day, every day. This is 97.1 The Ticket.
Brought to you by the Mark Z Home Selling Team. Tigers fall back to 55-60. and 60, 14 full games behind first place Kansas City in the Central with her 5-1 loss at Houston. They led a 1-0 after Victor Martinez RBI single. Miguel Cabrera returned from injury. He went 0-3 at the play with a walk. Alfredo Simon gave up four runs and six hits and five. Justin Verlander tonight, 1-5 and five his record. 640 right here on the ticket. Former Tiger closer Jose Belverde suspended 80 games following a positive drug test. He's in the minor leagues. Meanwhile, at the PGA Championship, they're finishing up round number two with a half-hour break to come between round two and three. The leader is Matt Jones, still on the course. A couple holes left in round two. He's a minus 11. Jason Day in the clubhouse at minus nine. Justin Rose at minus eight. Cut projected to be at plus two, maybe even plus one. From the 1-800 Call Sam Studios, I'm Jeff Lesson. For more, 971theticket.com. If you ever miss Valenti and Foster on 971 The Ticket, you can always hear their highlights at play.it, your new podcast network for best in class on demand shows. Welcome back to the show. We're broadcasting live from 971. It's the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Give us a call at Capital 1 800 Low Rate, the best mortgage banker. I'm Harvey Fried, Alex Nafusi. We brought in Dan Dubinsky from Skyward Realty in downtown Royal Oak off of Washington. Pretty cool place to buy a place. Yeah, I tell you what, they just redid the road. I went there for the first time this oh, morning. The road yeah. is yeah, the road's look good, in. man. Yeah, it was spots. the other day. Yeah, yeah. They did take a lot. Take a lot we have that Arts Beats needs to come in. We just had it graded to put some picnic benches. If you ever go down there, there's no place for anyone to eat. So we have this lot. We're going to put picnic benches sponsored by nice. Skyward Real Estate. Oh, nice. But they left all their trash in my lot, at the lot now. So we have. Uh, we got some we facelifting. Yeah, we have some facelifting. But you got yeah, some new agents you can send over there, right? No, no. They, uh, do they, they, they don't do that. They, they expect to sell real estate when they. That's well, we want to hear from that's you. A good, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. We want to hear from you live here in the studio, 248-539-9797. Uh, you know, home prices have been rising. Rents have been rising. That's part of the deal. Uh, modest wage growth is the deal. That's not good. So what's been going on is rents keep going through the roof. And people out there, if you're considering it all, if there's an opportunity for you, find out how easy it is to actually become a homeowner. Is your credit decent? If it's not, we can help you or at least show you a path to get on to fix your credit score up, uh, even a financial savings program. There are ways to get yourself into a house. It's a great way to build some wealth. Uh, and of course, the interest you have on home ownership is a tax write-off. Where else are you going to live? I mean, rents keep going up. It does, we're not in San Francisco, no, but, but there's also a sense of pride of ownership as well. You see people after you, uh, you know, they, you sell them a house, you come over there in the morning, they're, they're doing their lawn, planting flowers. It's uh, it's nice to see that people do that. They change neighborhoods around. They really do. Yeah, I love it. No doubt about that. How about the U.S. industrial production up, uh, led by the automotive industry? There's a little salute to all our uh, uh, car warriors out there on Woodward today and, and the hardworking people here across Southeast Michigan. I mean, automotive industry is rocking. Uh, production has been the strongest uh, in a long time. Uh, the third quarter is just about to start. New construction's way up. New construction's moving in the right direction. I mean, you know, it's hard to find workers right now, and that's just it because, because a lot so of busy. families, yeah, just very busy. A lot of families are doing those home projects throw, that they put off. I want to throw a heads up out there, too. I, I was looking at a contract yesterday to, to uh, from a pretty well-known builder, you know, and of course the purchase agreements on those, you know, those new constructions are, you know, 26 pages long. I'm going through it and there's a clause in there that oh, says yeah. if you opt to do, to not use their lender, their in-house lender, mm -hmm. and you change lenders within 30 days of closing, there's a $2,500 fee. Yeah, I don't even know if that's legal to put I, that in there. I don't know if it is either, but we see it all the time. And I, title company is the other well, one. Title company too. And here's the thing, okay? When you sign that and you agree to go with the, the builder's lender, the builder's title company, the guy building your house, you have no system of checks and balances. Every right. single person is on there. On, I don't know if they're not on your team, but they're on the builder's team. They're there to make money. Right. And, you know, additionally in those contracts, uh, a standard seller paid cost is transfer tax. Not on those. Not on those. You're going to pay the, their costs for them, too. So it's another reason. People say, well, Dan, I'm going to buy a new home. I don't think I need your services. And that's incorrect. Could cost them a lot of money. Yeah, it really could. You know, and chances are a lot of them will pay a, pay a commission. But even if they don't, I'll gladly look over a contract for you. You know, chances are people move every five, well, five years, right? That's a big deal, though, man. I mean, you, you use a builder's lender. Mm -hmm. And within that 30-day window, they can tell you anything they want. They can right. quote you 4%. Two weeks out, you can say, okay, I'm ready to lock my rate in. Uh, it's five and a half. And you yeah. say, well, dude, you're a point and a half above current market. 
Sorry, you can switch if you want. It's going to cost you two and a half grand. Lender, lenders, uh, lenders use their appraiser too, right? So yeah. that, now you got another issue as well. It's all all on one sided, really is. Well, of course, lenders are a little bit different with regards to the appraisals. We order through an AMC, an appraisal management company, and then they farm it out. And we have no choice to actually pick a specific appraiser. But we do run things through an appraisal management company. Yeah, and the build, build, builder who's building a similar house here, he knows what that one appraises right. for. That's going to keep going right down the line, right? That's my favorite call, too, from realtors. The, What's that? You appraised my house too low, Alex. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know the first thing about being an appraiser. <laughs> you know, another right, exactly. Newfound equity out there, as we were just talking about. I mean, two thirds of the homes out there are uh, occupied were built prior to 1980. So yeah, especially here in Michigan, you know, we brought it up last week that when you're buying the place, yeah, that how important that inspection is. I mean, you've got rain, salt, uh, uh, everything falling Snow? on your roof. Is that what you're saying? You Snow, uh, hail, yeah, all, okay, all, all right. the stuff. Yeah, wind. Yeah, I mean, it's you live in Michigan. You know, here's the the one thing I've found is, is inspections, fire. and I don't know why inspectors don't do this. They're going to offer you the radon test. They're going to offer you lead based paint test. They're going to do that. Most of them don't offer one thing that causes a lot of issues and is very expensive, and that's sending a camera down the sewer line. Yeah, right. And that's something that I don't understand why uh, I don't know why inspectors don't do that. But uh, we we make sure that that's done. Because, you guys have always done that for yeah, all the well, properties I bought through you guys. Yeah, it's 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 for for the past. Uh, well, I'll tell you what happened. Ten years ago, a buddy bought one, and I wasn't around to do it, and he didn't do that. And sure enough, it's a seven thousand dollar bill two months later. Now, some of your communities have sewer insurance, believe it or not now. So a couple bucks a, a month. Berkeley does. I know that. Yeah. They get stuff in the mail the time. Yeah, because it's as much of an issue. These are older pipes we're talking about, homes that were built in the 20s, 30s. And what, and just yeah, so the people, trees. Just in case yeah. people don't understand what we're talking about. Is, you know, what, what, there's, a, there's a sewer line that runs from your house to, to the street, to the sewer. And what happens is these older houses, the, 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 the pipe, whatever was made out of. Clay. Clay. Yeah. yeah. The roots from the trees crash. They, they crack that pipe and they get in there and you get the sewage back up in your basement. They're going to dig your whole front yard up. So anytime you're driving through some of those older subs and you see the whole front yard dug up, yeah. that's what it is. That's They're replacing the sewer line. Ex exactly. And here's what happens too. Now, a homeowner may know that's a problem and don't want to pay it. So what they do is put some, a product called Rudex or some other product that once a month, it will eat away those roots. But it is compromised and they may not disclose that to you. So that's why it's re really important to get that done. Like you said, Dan, uh, a set of eyes, an inspector can see everything above ground, but you just can't see what's underneath uh, the sewer line. So you run a camera down there. Uh, a lot of the uh, plumbing, uh, uh, local plumbing people do this. Ninety-nine to two hundred dollars, somewhere it falls in between there. I yep. think anybody should it's have well it, worth it. Have it snaked. I mean, every twenty-four months, even if there's no problems, just right. keep it. I mean, just, just just to be safe. Well, you now you know people are using moist wipes and every other kind of thing now. It's putting down their putting down their drain. It really is important to do that because no one wants the uh, the result, which is a bunch of sewage in your basement. We've got some open Gross. lines here, yes. definitely. Uh, <laughs> 9.38 this morning, if you're just tuning in, it's the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate and Business Show, the show that gives you information about mortgages and real estate. Uh, we always bring in usually a real estate agent. Dan Dubinsky from Skyward Realty is a great guy to, uh, to have conversations with. If you're out there buying a house, whether you're a first-time homeowner or the second time around, why not gain the knowledge? The knowledge is the key, you know. The mind is a terrible thing to waste, no doubt about that. Get educated on the process. It just goes so much smooth, smoother for those folks. Yeah, and just being in this business so long, you, you get comments from other realtors or even our own agents. I think, Alex, you're working with Tony over at our, our That's, office. I was going to tell a story and, about that. Yeah, and my, different than mine. The, uh, the, someone told him that he can't buy that house, an insurance company. No one will insure it because it has 60 amp service. No, it has fuse. It has a fuse box. Oh, a fuse box. And I said, Tony, that's, that just doesn't sound right. I know I've sold whole houses with fuse boxes right. before, but he was told that, and he was going to move on until I talked to him and said, "No, we talked, called two the, insurance the companies." The buyer and, called me, and my buddy Matt Batanti hooked it up. Right. Yeah, he's done. No problem. Yeah. So people are told stuff, and they believe it. And if you don't have someone that's experienced and knows what they're doing, you know, we, you guys know if something just doesn't sound right, right? Hey, Same hey, in the real. I was nothing uh, wrong adding a nice circuit I box was, to that thing, but uh, maybe <laughs> right. down the road, maybe well, that's yeah, an expense I mean, you can get you down the road. Here's the thing, though, you know. Right. She's a, she's a first time buyer. Yep. Doesn't have a ton of cash to work with, and I don't mm. know how much it's changed those boxes out. It's probably four or five hundred bucks. Oh, we'll we'll or use more. it. For, we use it to our benefit to negotiate without a doubt. But he doesn't have the money to do it. But negotiate it and get it done down the line. He's able to get insurance. There you go. I was uh, I was at Oak City the other night, and I was sitting in on that bench outside your office. And Natalie mm -hmm. asked, she was like, you know, you know, how'd you meet all these guys from Skyward? And you know, I just told about you know the first couple <laughs> of deals we had. And, right. You know, just you work with people you trust. And the uh, the buyer that Tony's working with. Right now, I got the whole scoop from her. She she had an, another another realtor mm -hmm. that she was working with, and she and she went she met met this dude on like. Oh, lots, I remember that story. Lots, that was a good story. Lots, lots of fish in the sea, oh, or wow. Tinder, or uh -oh. Farmers uh -oh. Only. Dot fish, com, maybe. Or date, yeah. Make some money yeah, at the same so, time. Yeah, <laughs> match or whatever. So she meets this dude who shocking is a realtor. Mm -hmm. 
So he pulls her away from her current realtor, her current mortgage guy, gets him, you know, work, working with him, his mortgage guy. The whole thing goes south. It turns out like her dad's friend or a friend of her friend knows the dude that she met on Tinder, or whatever, yeah, yeah. he's engaged. Yeah. <laughs> so, dude, you, 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 the moral of the you story, we're the gonna moral, get to it. The moral of the story is, you can't be loyal to your, to your fiance. This person's supposed to trust you with, you know, a two hundred thousand dollar purchase. <laughs> I mean, on. it goes down to people. Yet, and you have to work with people you trust. Exactly, and that's why referrals are huge. And we uh, we work on a lot of referrals. Obviously, we send a lot of business back and forth, Alex and. I, I love doing deals. I know when I send them to you guys, it's going to go smooth, nothing to worry about, and it's uh, it's pretty much a done deal. We'll take that. Right. Hey, we've got open lines. We want to hear from you. 248-539-9797. When we come back, all of your calls. bank online? Pay at the pump. Use public Wi-Fi. If so, your identity could be at risk. So help protect it with the best. LifeLock. Enroll in minutes and your protection starts immediately. Go to LifeLock.com now and use promo code RISK to save 10%. LifeLock.com. The Johnson family had a savings account until their air conditioner died. The Martins had a vacation fund before their water heater quit. The Baileys have no savings and their refrigerator just broke. The truth is, it can only take one home system or appliance repair to break your piggy bank. But buying a home warranty from American Home Shield can protect you against unexpected covered costs. For valuable free information, go to ahs.com or call 1 800 400 7011. Why pour money into repairs when American Home Shield will help pay covered repairs for you? Your air conditioner, plumbing, oven, refrigerator, water heater, and more. The choice is yours. Pay for expensive home system and appliance repairs or let AHS help pay covered repairs for you. If you want to avoid being hit hard by unexpected breakdowns, go to AHS.com for valuable free information, including terms, rates, and coverage. That's AHS.com or call 1-800-400-7011. Again, that's AHS.com or call 1-800-400-7011. Race week is here. You better get to Roush Automotive Collection in Livonia to get your racing gear to sport this season. Roush Automotive Collection in Livonia has all the best racing gear you'll need to cheer on your number one Roush driver. Roush Automotive Collection in Livonia has hundreds of vehicles on site for you to check out in between shopping for that racing gear. They're located just north of Plymouth Road and west of Levan in Livonia. Check them out online at RoushCollection.com or on the Roush Hotline 734-779-7276. 734-779-7276. Great Clips wonders, what would you do with more minutes? I would explore new planets and galaxies and study space. I think I'd build a robot to go through the sun and then report back to Earth. And I'll just be like, whoa, what was that? Save more minutes for the stuff you love when you use online check-in to get your back-to-school haircut at Grey Clips. It's going to be great. Over 95 Detroit area salons. Breakfast is here. Come and get it. Chicken biscuit sandwiches from Dunkin'. Did you really need to bring the bell into the office? Just trying to make it feel a little more like home. You know, I think the chicken biscuit sandwich has got that covered. Dunkin' Donuts Chicken Biscuit Sandwich is made with tender, juicy, breaded chicken on a freshly baked biscuit. Hurry in for a homestop breakfast sandwich for $2.99 today. America runs on Dunkin'. Press participation may vary in limited time off. Stop by Dunkin' Donuts and get a freshly brewed coffee. America runs on Dunkin'. I'm David Blanton of Realtree Outdoors. I have my gear for the weekend and a 12-pack of ice-cold mellow yellow. Wow, you should see the view. Now this is my world, and this is my drink. It's perfect after a long day outdoors. All right, let's roll again. For a limited time, Mellow Yellow and Real Tree have come together to bring you a delicious blend of lemon, lime, and orange flavors to keep you going for your next adventure. Mellow Yellow, this is my world. 97 won the ticket is proud to join two hometown favorites, the Detroit Tigers and the Carmanis Cancer Institute for the fourth annual Pink Out the Park, Friday, September 18th, when the Detroit Tigers face the Kansas City Royals at Comerica Park. The event is sponsored by Delta Airlines. Wear pink to the game and go pink in the community to show your support for breast health awareness and cancer prevention. Special in-stadium sale promotions will benefit breast cancer research at the Carmanis Cancer Institute. For information, visit tigers.com. Lions, Redskins, kick off Thursday night at 7.30 on Lions Radio.
Hey, welcome back to the show, 945. If you're just tuning in, it's the Hardcore Mortgage Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Give us a call, Capital, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. That's 1-800-569-7283. A little shout out to all our Woodward Dream Cruisers out there enjoying the day. I know some of them are hanging around the 97.1 booth. We're going to have broadcasting from there all day long. And Pat Caputo coming up with sports and social commentary right after our show. Tons to share with you here. 248-539-9797. We are going to take your calls. And there's no doubt that still Detroit metropolitan area is the 12th largest U.S. market in 2015. So I'll pop- take that. Yeah, that's not a bad deal. We got a pretty big city here. And I'll tell you, a lot of folks have come in from out of town. Hopefully you're enjoying your experience here. The weather's been nice. It's going to be a hot, sticky weekend this weekend. Get out there on the lake. A little quick shout out there to all the boating friends and golfers out there. Tons to do in Southeast Michigan when it's like this, when it's when the weather is definitely good. So if you have any questions about mortgages or real estate, be sure to give us a call. Again, we've got open lines all morning long. What do you guys want to add here? It's supposed to be like 94 tomorrow. That's I don't want to hear I don't want to hear any complaints about the heat because you know in February we're gonna be sitting here doing a show and there's gonna be two feet of snow on the ground, it's gonna be minus twenty degrees. We're gonna be begging for that. So right. Just, just deal with it. Yeah, you got to get out there and enjoy it, like you said, Harvey. I mean, the, the, there are a lot of things to do here. Uh, we went over to the JCC. They have this. It looks like Robin Hood. You go over there. They have all these. Uh, oh, the zip groups. lines. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Oh, it's more than just zip, zip lines. It's all kind of stuff. But we had a great time out there. And, uh, I don't know, for 40 bucks, you go spend it's uh, an hour and a half, two hours. And you're up in the, in the thing and really challenging yourself. We had a great time over there. Okay, there's more to it than just zip lines. There's a lot of oh, fun yeah, things yeah. that, right, you're just finding out about. I think the Renaissance Festival's going on. you got the Dream Cruise. Just tons of stuff going on. There's going to be Tiger Baseball coming up here uh, as soon as I get back home. Are you still doing that, those role-playing games, that Dungeons & Dragons stuff? I, I did, up, I've like, never like, done a, like, that. Like a wizard? And, thank you. Uh, I don't do that. I don't do oh, the comic I thought you did that. Kind of stuff. <laughs> I could see you doing that though, buddy. How much can you qualify? <laughs> That's always funny. How much can you qualify for? <laughs> We're regular, regular dudes, man. It's yeah, norm, normal people. Oh yeah, yeah, I do that. No offense to those guys who like that stuff. Uh, how much can you afford though? Qualifying for the mortgage is definitely you know what most people start off with, and you know we had a couple first time home buyers that called even this morning, and that's the key to it is find out what you're what you're looking like financially. You know how much money does it take to purchase a house? Again, there's all sorts of different opportunities out there. Recently, Fannie and Freddie dropped conventional mortgages to three percent down conventional purchases. Now, of course, they've always had that five percent down conventional purchase, which is a great way to go and keeping that PMI a little bit tighter. But three percent down conventional purchases. Uh, you could have co-signers, 3.5% down FHA loans. Your co-signer can qualify for the loan. Zero down rule development loans, VA loans are happening. Any of our veterans out there, if you're currently renting, or if you just got back from the service, um, use that eligibility. Find out how easy it is to purchase a house. Zero down, and you can have seller's concessions. It takes very little money to purchase a house VA. You know, I always appreciated how Alex handles the, and I'm sure you do the same. You know, it's, people walk in and say, how much can I get? And Alex will say, well, let's, we'll find out how much you can get, but how much do you want to pay each month? What's your lifestyle like? Do you go out and do, do you eat dinner uh, twice out or three times out a week? Do you belong to a country club? So it's not just what you can you can afford the tap. It's really what your lifestyle goes along with it. And your lifestyle changes. I mean, you might be paying child support and alimony, and that might be falling off in a year or two. Or you might have a lot of student loans out there that are, are someone else can pick up. Or There's lots of things that change in life. And again, staying in front of that bus and trying to do the right thing financially is the key. 248-539-9797. I'm going to go out there too. Dearborn Heights, we've got Jeff. Good morning, Jeff. Welcome to the show. Hi, how are you doing? Good, good morning, sir. Jeff, got, what's up? Uh, well, I've, I've got, my mom left me a house in trust, and I'm, I'm going to pull it out pretty soon, and I want to take a loan out on it so I can pay off some bills. Um, but my credit score is not that great. I got a 100-point difference in the Experian and the TransUnion. And what I don't know why there's a 100-point difference in there to begin with. What about the Equifax? There should, there should be three scores. Uh, the Equifax and TransUnion is about the same. Which, which is what? A six, about 600. Okay, 600 in the house in the trash. You, got to, you need a 620 credit score. You need a 620 credit score. You're not too far away. Maybe we could just bump up your credit and uh, take a look what we can. uh, Maybe you have an account or two that we can lower the balances on. A lot of times, high balances will prevent you from having a a little bit higher score on your credit. Yeah, well, it it, it dropped. It was up in the 660s, almost 670. But I had had a loan for uh, Santander. And back when I was working, I'm on disability now. I had to have some um, car payment deferred to the end of it. Right. So I had five of them deferred, and I made all five of them up. So I would, uh, the car was paid off in December, supposedly, 
But then they wanted another five thousand dollars. They said in interest. Well, yeah, you owe the money. You borrowed the money, payments. man. You got to pay it back. <coughs> it's like anything yeah. else. For for five payments, the you know I made hey. those up. Yeah, hey, I don't know. You still got to pay interest on the outstanding balance. Don't get mad at us, Jeff. Yeah. We're just here to help oh, you oh, get a mortgage. No, 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 I'm not mad at you. <laughs> but I don't want to, why would it be five thousand dollars extra? I'd have I to. Mean, I'd have ridiculous. to look at the contract. Hey. I don't know. A lot. Of, so a lot of times, if you, if you go through one of those sketchy loan places, it's like missing a credit card payment. Where you're, you know, your your rate on the credit card balance is nine percent. You miss one payment, it jumps to twenty four point nine nine. Chances yeah. are yeah, you signed yeah. something that says that. Yeah, your your, your well, interest rate probably get... shot through the roof. I need to get my credit score up over six twenty. Yeah, Jeff, I've got some it. great software I can run your credit report through, and it tells us what you can, what you can pay off or pay down, and the impact uh -huh. it'll have on your credit on your credit scores. Yeah. And then we can move yeah. from there. Hey, Jeff, it sounds like okay. you got some equity there. Yeah, let's get you back on your feet. You're probably not too far away from getting where you need to be. Thanks for the call. Hey, hey, thanks. thanks, man. All right. Again, if you were willed a house, you might own it free and clear. Maybe you are in some financial position that's not really working for you. A lot of times a small mortgage will help. You can pull some equity out, sometimes a home equity loan if you qualify for that route, or just a straight mortgage on a fixed rate is the way to go. Again, consolidating your debts, a lot of times put a little money in your pocket, really can get you over that hump. Give us a call if you have any questions like that. 248-539-9797. Let's move on to Andrew in Royal Oak. Andrew, good morning. Welcome to our show. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. Um, the reason for my call, uh, we're looking to sell our place in Royal Oak, and um, we're thinking about moving out to the west side in Brighton and, and getting into potentially a new build. So I was just curious. I heard you guys talking about uh, things to look out for on the new build, um, uh, specifically the lending and the, you know, the title. Right um, provision. So I guess my question is: Is there anything else I need to look out to look out for for a, a new uh, for a new build? And also, what do you think about the Brighton area in general? Beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's a great area. You know, with new builds, we tell our clients there's additional costs you have to worry about or think of. I should say uh, you're talking about landscaping. You're talking about blinds. You're talking about uh, window treatments. Window yeah. treatments. Uh, you're talking about uh, some appliances. So those that number that you see on that paper on that contract is really going to increase quite a bit. There's a sprinkler system in there. Did the seller like the base model on a car? Yeah, exactly. Did the did the uh, yeah. as the builder charging you fees that typically would be uh, charged the seller like transfer tax, which is eight dollars and sixty cents per thousand, roughly. So those are the things. And each contract is different, so it's hard to really tell you. Those are the basic ones, but they can slip all kinds of stuff in there. So it's really a benefit, and whoever you choose to help you sell your home, maybe they can come along and uh, help you, guide you through the purchase of the yeah, new home. get a little bit well. of help. And yeah, and chances are there might be a commission to be had, but if not, you know, they're doing a, uh, uh, helping you with the sell, sell side of yours. I'm sure they'd be willing to do that. And hey, we're right there in Royal Oaks. So we'd love to have the opportunity to come look at your house. Yeah, maybe we can do that. What do you think, though, about, I mean, as far as I know, the Brighton area is beautiful and everything, but, but what, what about from an equity standpoint and from an investment standpoint? Here's what, what do you, do you see? Yeah, here, here's what I think is, is happening. Royal Oak is beyond what the prices were back at their heyday of 2006, 2007. So you're probably selling at a high number and hopefully buying into an area that hasn't fully caught up, but it will eventually. And the whole question I'd have is, what's your time, time frame? How long are you planning on living there? Yeah, well said, Dan. I like that idea. You yeah. got that, Andrew? Well, right. Your area in Brighton might still be developing. It's got a lot of room for appreciation where the Royal Oaks at top end right now. Yeah, and I think that's happening. We're, we're looking to kind of set some roots out there, so I'd, I'd hope that there would be some good appreciation. Yeah, you, you, you will see that. And with, uh, you know, with the, the medical system hiring, the, the big three hiring, people are going there, and you know, the roads are getting better out there, and there's more access to, uh, to the city, too. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. Thanks cool. for the call, thanks, Andrew. Guys. Cool. Yeah, we'll thanks, call, call you after the show. I'd love to see your home in Royal Oak. We need okay. we need good homes on the market. Okay, thanks. Cool, thanks, man. All right, fantastic. Again, like a lot of things you can do with new construction builder, not ever paint a bad picture or anything about it, just to review it. Again, a little heads up there, and I've bought new construction. I've built them myself. I've done small builders and large builders. The key is to read the purchase agreement, understand association guidelines. There's little things like what kind of swing set can you put out back for your children? Even the last subdivision I lived in had some guidelines on that. You couldn't yeah, throw some for aluminum. A swing set? Oh, yeah. yeah you fences. Had, oh, yeah, fencing. Do you want to put a pool in? Lots of rules and guidelines. Again, just make sure they fit 
your lifestyle. Again, it's not the end of the world. We put a gorgeous uh, swing set out there, but it had to be made out of a wooden structure. It had to look good. You know, you don't want your neighbors uh, to put up something that's just going to be an eyesore, right. obviously, in any area. Hey, let's see if we can sneak Bill in. Bill, out in Livonia. Go, go ahead real quick, Bill. Yeah, bought an investment property in April, uh, paid 55 cash for it. I want to pull some money out to go do that again, buy another investment property, but having trouble uh, getting a loan. You know, I, I am told that I got to wait six months and then I can only get a loan against what I paid for it and uh, wait a year before I can get a loan against the appraised value. Well, there's a, there's a season requirement before you can take cash out of an investment property. So you have to wait so for it to be it's seasoned. Bottom line, correct. It's, it's, a, no it's, it's a Fannie Mae guideline. Yeah. So just hang tight for hang tight for the year. I mean, that's it. And then you can take some cash yeah. out. The prices are going up too much. I need to do it. I need to turn this around and get another cheap one before they're all. Yeah, I'll expensive. call after the show. Maybe we can run some other options for you. Thanks, man. Bill. We got a couple options. Thanks, All righty. Thanks to all the callers who called into the show. Again, be sure to call Capital Mortgage Funny at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Alex? Or you can email us at mortgage.show at lowrateonline.com. All right, for sure. And you got Dan Dubinsky. A little thank you from Skyward thank Realty. You. Thanks for coming in. Go see Dan in downtown Royal Oak. We got back a Budo coming up with sports. Keep it here on 97.1 The Ticket. For Alex Confusi, I'm Harvey Free. See you next Saturday. Seating was a paid program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. Hi, Harry Glanz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, and they're not going down to zero. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. If you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. Capital Mortgage Funding is powered by Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, NMLS ID number 2289, Equal House. Housing.